Our text is taken from Romans 1, A, 1, A to verse 4. The gospel of God, which was promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures, concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Amen. The gospel of God or the glad tidings of God or we can say it is good news. The gospel is the thoughts of God and his acts toward his creation, mankind. His thoughts, his goodness toward us. The revelation of him in Christ Jesus, his son, who was sent in order that a man can approach God on his throne through his son, Jesus Christ. The gospel is what has already been done and also it is the glory that would follow. Peter said it this way in 1 Peter, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come to you, searching for what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it was testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. We have come to the communion time. This is the time we gather our thoughts and remember our Lord and Savior. We come together to break bread and to drink from the cup. We do this in remembrance of him who promised us that he would never leave us nor forsake us. Let us put all our thoughts upon him at this time. First, let us meditate upon some promises of God concerning his son, Jesus Christ. God, speaking to Moses, said in Deuteronomy 18, 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, he was speaking to Moses, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I command him. Isaiah the prophet spoke about the Son of God. He said in Isaiah chapter 9, for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god the everlasting father the prince of peace of the increase of his government and the and peace there shall be no end and upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judge, judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform, perform this Isaiah also said in Isaiah 53 Again, the prophet speaking said, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground, he had no form or comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised, and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. 
Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was as upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison, prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. And by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many for he shall bear their iniquities. The Lord, speaking about his son in Isaiah, said this, Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressor, and bare the sins of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Jesus is speak, speaking about himself what, through the prophet in Matthew 4.18. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the bind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Again, the prophet said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, speaking about Jesus, because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. We, at one time, were captives to our sin, bound in a prison and brokenhearted. When Jesus found us, he set us free to serve our Heavenly Father. The prophet again speaking, he said, Jesus, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort them all that mourn. We are living in the time of salvation, and we can find comfort in our mourning, and soon the day of vengeance will come. To appoint unto, unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. He has given us beauty for our ashes and the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise, and we are the planting of the Lord, the trees of righteousness. The Apostle Peter, speaking to the house of Cornelius, said, 
to him, that is God, gave all the prophets witness that through his name, Jesus, whosoever believes in him shall receive remission of sins. The Apostle Paul said in Romans 1, 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. As we are gathered here around the Lord's table, we are not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. The gospel is the herald of divine truth. It proclaims, it publishes good news. Here at this table, the gospel reminds us that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together with Christ unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we shall also in the likeness of his resurrection. This then is the gospel, the good news, the glad tidings, that we remember that Jesus, Jesus our Lord, what he has done for us, and is now in the presence of the, his Father and our Father. Therefore, let us examine ourselves and remember our Lord at this time. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we, we thank you for this time that we can remember our Lord and Savior. Lord, he went through a lot just for us. He lost a lot just for us. And Lord, we want to remember the very things that he has proclaimed and done for us. We thank you for this table, Lord. We thank you for the bread. We thank you for the cup that we may remember our Lord at this time. In Jesus' name, amen.